All right, so for this one, it says 2 pi over 7. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you remember, when we're talking about angles, we say two angles that add up to give us 90 degrees for the complement. But remember, we need to apply this in radians, right? So for the complement and for the supplement, it's x plus y equals 180 degrees. Right? That's technically how you've, been, how you've learned complement and supplement. But now we've introduced radians. And remember, a radian, if we took a line around a circle, radian, wrap around, there's three radians, 0.14159 around a circle. So we can say, if you rotate halfway around a circle, you've measured pi radians, which therefore is pi halfway around a circle is the same thing as having a straight angle, which is 180 degrees. So 180 degrees is equivalent to pi. Well, since our angle is in radians, we're going to erase the 180 degrees, and we're going to write it as pi. So if I want to go what 90 degrees is, that's going to be pi over 2. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we have complement is pi halves, and the supplement is pi. So now we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. Just plug in your angle. Now I subtract. Okay. Now this gets a lot of students, because we, now we have the equation y equals pi halves minus 2 pi over 7. And we have y equals pi minus 2 pi over 7. All right, so I'll work this out, but I'm just going to tell you pretty soon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to show so much of this math work, because this really does date back to Algebra 1 of how do you subtract fractions when they don't have like denominators. You have to get them to be like denominators, right? So here, I'll multiply by 7 over 7. Here, I have to multiply by 2 over 2. Right? Because the common denominator between 7 and 2 is 14. Yes? Yes? Over here, I just have 7 and 1, so that's going to be 7 over 7. So therefore, in this case, I have y equals 7 pi over 14 minus 4 pi over 14. That isn't the answer I had. Yeah, it is. OK. Yeah, that's right. OK. And that equals 3 pi over 14. Did I say I got that answer? Compliment? No? Or did I lose you? No, I said. No, I might not have uh, said that correctly. It's 3 pi over 14 was the answer. Um, for over here, you now have 7 pi over 7 minus 2 pi over 7, which equals 5 pi over 7. You write that down, Israel? No, you didn't. Okay. 